Modern Art Gallery is an Indian gallery located in the heart of Shah Jahanabad or the old walled city of Delhi. India is a culturally diversified country wherein we have hundreds of art schools. Madhubani folk art, miniature paintings along with the contemporary art are only a few of them. We promote new artists and work to revive the old art endlessly. I, Ritu Chagati, am the director of Modern Art Gallery and I'd be delighted to showcase Indian art in Texas, America. Artists are totally individual. Principal at Delhi College of Art and a very senior and respected artist, Niren Sain Gupta, says that art is totally individualistic. Sir, could you please explain uh, to us your journey with art through the ages? Art is a style I have been experimenting with for the past 40 years. My journey through art can be summarized in four stages. I call the first stage touch. This is when I shifted to India from Pakistan. My life was overcast with gloom. Therefore, there is a lot of black in my work. The second stage is princess. Realize that how my mother, my sisters, and other women, you know, they are so involved in our life. At this stage, I am enamored with the way women sacrifice themselves for their family and even then live happily. The third stage is Sharnagat. Here I am influenced by Ramakrishna mission. There is little color in my life. Fourth stage is what I am painting now, where I paint our ancestors to show how we came about. Our ancestors. Because they used to learn everything. They used to teach everything in our life. So I made a series on uh, that ancestors. Now I established a style where you can just see my work and realize that this is the work of Niren. Uh, so the signature is not necessary. The style is the signature of an artist. My name is Loknath and I am a national award winner in Tanjore paintings. These paintings are made on board and decorated with 24 karat gold leaves and semi-precious stones. They emerged in the 16th century in Tamil Nadu and are a rage world over. The theme is mostly Hindu gods and goddesses. Makhan Saha is a senior artist who revels in the glory of Indian sculptures. His paintings depict the Khajuraho sculptures of 11th century, juxtaposed with the Rajasthani colors and opulence. Why did you choose this topic of Rajasthani painting and what do you wish to convey through it? This is the Rajasthani and Khajura combined. It is as if they've come alive to be with the colorful world of today. The cracks show that the old world is painted with the new. I have tried to show Navras in my work. In this painting, I am showing Sringaras. The lover is promising the moon to his sweetheart. The artist Vijendra Sharma paints because painting for him is his hobby, his passion and even life itself. So, what are you trying to convey through this painting? Vijendra Sharma presents life and its enigma in his work Love Today. Life is an illusion. All is not what it appears. We all wear a mask to hide our true feelings. And there is no true love. Yes, uh, they are, they are, they are always not true. So please try to explain your philosophy on illusion through this painting. The title of this painting is uh, Secrets of Life. We have many illusions, uh, uh, but I see this is not, uh, this may not be real. 
like this. In, you see in this painting, this is cloth, this is strings, but uh, this is not the uh, cloth real. This is only can, uh, uh, canvas, and this is also canvas um, and colors. But uh, you feel that this is uh, real. And we see many reasons and we, we feel many reasons in our life. Mm -hmm. So I, I am so too much inspired uh, by this reason. The reason is Maya. You can say it's created by God. The Indian miniature paintings date back from the 14th to the 19th century. The distinguished feature of these paintings was that they were made using a single hair of a squirrel. The earliest paintings were Pala and Jaina, whereas the later ones were Rajasthani, Mughal, Pahari and Deccani. The Rajasthani style of art flourished at Mewar, Jodhpur and Jaipur. The paintings from Kangra, Basoli, Chamba, Kullu belonged to the Pahari school of art. Sikh paintings were designated as a sub-style of miniature paintings. Rajasthani paintings depicted romantic love blending with sensuality, elegance, grace and a kind of spirituality. Radha and Krishna were the dominating theme. Mughal paintings were the art of elite endowed with a classical touch and marked with rich style and poetic imagination. Jahangir, the Mughal king, was an art connoisseur. Under him, a blend of European art with Indian art was seen in the miniature paintings. We see a new technique of painting where three-dimensional effects with shading become a part of miniature style. This painting that you see, Madonna, was presented to Jahangir by the European travellers. Madhubani or Mithila paintings have been done traditionally by the women of villages around the present town of Madhubani and Darbanga in Bihar, India. The paintings were traditionally done on freshly plastered mud walls and floors of huts. But now they are also done on cloth, handmade paper and canvas. Madhubani paintings are made from the paste of powdered rice and their colors are derived from plants. Madhubani paintings are two-dimensional. Madhubani paintings mostly depict the men, women and their association with nature. Scenes from the ancient epics are also portrayed. Natural objects like sun, the moon and the religious plants like Tulsi are widely painted along the scenes of the royal court and social events like wedding. Generally no space is left empty. The gaps are filled by paintings of flowers, animals, birds and even geometric designs. Traditionally paintings was one of the skill that was passed down from generation to generation in the families of the Mithila region, mainly by women. <laughs>